today is the 6th of March um I'm sat at my desk because I've just logged on to tie up some loose ends with work um they've been so supportive it honestly makes me quite thinking about it um and then I think I'm going to take some time off this week um yeah I don't know like I'm obviously okay I feel like I'm okay ish but um my job requires a lot of empathy and I listen to people's problems pretty much all day. Um, you know, I support people who are off sick, who are our nurses and doctors and our staff. And I just don't really feel like I can be there for them right now. Um, yeah. And I don't really feel like I can speak to people. You know, people who might not have knowledge. Um, well, they won't because it's not appropriate or professional for me to share things. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely getting tougher as the days go on. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's not easy, um, but I'm okay. I'm still getting lots of lovely messages, people checking in. I didn't realise my hair was this messy. Um, yeah. I'm just blown away by people's kindness, to be honest. They're honestly just incredible. Um, it's restored my faith in humanity, like, not that it was ever gone, because I do think there's some incredible people in the world. Um, but yeah, just everyone. People I went to school with, who I haven't spoken to for years. Um, people who don't even know me, who, like, know my mum and dad, or know my boyfriend, and, yeah, just amazing. Um, and, it like, people keep saying, like, words, you know, words will, will never help, or what, and they, they do, like, they're so... They really do uplift you and make you feel surrounded by a lot of love and support. So, yeah. Thank you if you're watching this and you've given me support. And if you're watching this and you're going through the testing process or thinking about going through the testing process, I'm sure you'll have people who love and support you. And it's so important that you rely on, like, lean on them um, as and when you need to. Because I'm learning that. I'm learning that it's okay to do that um yeah I've just received a call for my life insurance as well um it was quite tough to get life insurance I'm sure anybody who's impacted by HD will know that um like my cover's a lot more expensive than Mitch's because of my well it was my risk of HD before um obviously I had to update them and tell them I've been test I've tested G positive I was open and honest with them and they've said right you were well you declared it so it's fine and I spoke to the most amazing lady on the phone um almost like a counsellor I suppose as part of like my cover and she's gonna call me in a few weeks and like she got emotional on the phone <laughs> we both got emotional 25 I'm from the northeast of England and my mum has HD she's here today um and my nan also had HD as well she passed away December 2021 um I actually received my positive result just two weeks ago um so this is a very new space for me to be um talking in I have talked about being at risk before um but yeah so bear with <laughs> bear with me if I if it becomes a little bit difficult um, I'm not yet symptomatic and I do have a younger sister who's also at risk. 